reporting for Katie Chats here at the Diaspora Film Festival in downtown Toronto with actor Vincent Ebrahim, who stars in Material. How does it feel to be here at the Diaspora Film Festival? Well, it's freezing cold for starts. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's very good to be in Toronto. Um, I'm really proud to um, come along and, and um, be part of the showing and screening of this um, film at the Diaspora Festival because I think it's one of those films that I think fits very neatly into um, the themes of this particular festival. How did you get involved in the film? Well, it's, um, it, it's a long story and a short story. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, my sister, who is an, an actress in South Africa, um, had auditioned for a part in this, in this film, um, and the director, Craig Frymont, um, I think... Uh, took advantage of the situation and, and, and asked her about me. So she was a bit put out that, uh, <laughs> that uh, her audition time was taken with um, trying to find out uh, wh where I was and if I was available. But that's how I got, got involved. Um, Craig, the director, uh, in, invited me, I think it was in, in 2009, just to read a script. And um, it kind of started from there. Uh, it, I, th I thought it was a, l a lovely, beautiful little story, um, but it, it, the, the character he was asking me to play, which was the, which was the father, um, I thought needed to have um, a stronger root inside the story, and so we began a relationship of exchanging emails and telephone calls, because I live in London and Craig lives in Johannesburg, South Africa, um, in which we had a conversation and dialogue about the character um, and how it how it threaded its way into the, into the story, um, and that's how my involvement began, and uh, it grew from there. Tell me a little bit about your acting process and how you related to this fatherly character. Well, I'm a father myself, <laughs> <laughs> so it, it, it was not hard to uh, um, explore that particular relationship. Um, Obviously, the character uh, is nothing like me, except that I am South African by birth. Um, and I, I, I needed to go back to my roots, as it were, to, um, uh, to find out a lot about this particular character. Um, he's, uh, he's, he's a complex guy, you know, and yet he's a very simple guy. He, he's, he, he's struggling to come to terms with... Um, a world that he doesn't recognize, um, i.e. I, the world of his son and a, and a modern world. He's a very traditional guy. Um, he has quite strong um, expectations of his son, um, who unpredictably wants to go in a different direction. And it's a, I, I reckon that's a, it's a, a condition of... Um, of family relationships or father-son relationships. Um, so yeah, you, you, you know, there, there was a familiarity about the character, but, but I had, had to plumb um, a, a lot of, lot of depths and um, explore feelings that perhaps didn't come naturally to me. I think I'm a, I hope, <laughs> I'm a much more um, open character. Um, yeah. Do you think that this story of family will resonate with audiences globally all over the world? Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm very confident that it... it because it's, it's in the nature of the film, it's, it's about uh, family and father, particularly father-son relationships, as I said, that, that have a universal note to it. It's, it happens to be set in a Muslim family in Johannesburg, but that's kind of incidental to it. It, it provides the context in which um, this family sits. Um, and I'm really confident that it will, you know, if it can get in, onto a screen somewhere, um, people will love it. And what was it like shooting in South Africa? Did you have a good experience on set? Yes, extraordinary. Um, firstly, it was the first time I. Been work, I've been back to South Africa to work. I've, I've, I've been out of the country for 35 years. Um, and I've been back often to see my family there. Um, 
but it was the first time I went back to work. So, uh, you know, it was an extraordinary journey for me, uh, and I loved it. Um, you know, suddenly there were things at my fingertips um, that, I guess, working in England over 35 years, you have to stretch and reach out to stretch yourself as an actor to find those to find those bits of com complex sensitivities, um, accuracies. Whereas in South Africa, it, it just it it was there. Do you know what I mean? It was all around me and. Um, lots of familial memories came came back, um, which I used in, in the character. And where is the best place to find out more information on you as an actor and a comedian and on the film material online? Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm not too sure about that. I think if you, if you probably, if you Googled um, my name, you'd come up with a wealth of information or perhaps not, you know, I mean, I think, I think so. I, I think there's, a, there's, an, en there's an entry in Wikipedia. Um, um, yeah, thanks to a good friend of mine. Uh, I have nothing to do with it, by the way. Um, I always think of myself as an actor and not a comedian. I, I'm not a comedian, comedian at all. Um, I, I happen to have been involved in a, in, a, in a comedy show, a television show on the Kumars at number 42, um, in which it surprised me that, uh, you know, a comedy was part of a bag of tricks yeah. or bag of skills, I should say. <laughs> Mm. Well, thank you so much. It was a pleasure to meet you. Congratulations on the film, and uh, best of luck here at the festival. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. I'm Katie Ullman, reporting for Katie Chats here at the Diaspora Film Festival in downtown Toronto.